You can never tell for sure what the Academy voters will decide, but if you look at who's been winning prizes at the award ceremonies that have already taken place, you'll get a pretty good idea of who's on the inside track. On that basis, I have to say that Jeff Bridges seems to have locked up the Best Actor Award for his fantastic performance as a broken-down country singer-songwriter in Crazy Heart. Bridges has had four previous nominations without a victory, and that probably increases his chances of winning. Bon appétit. For Best Actress, I think it comes down to a close competition between Meryl Streep as Chef Julia Child in Julie and Julia, and Sandra Bullock as a southern mother who takes in a homeless African-American boy in Blindside. This race is simply too close to call. But like any enterprise, when under new management, there's always a slight duplication of efforts. The best supporting actor will almost certainly be Christoph Waltz for Inglorious Bastards. He's won the prize at every award show to date, and for my money, his performance as a charming Nazi was the best thing about the film. Best Supporting Actress will likely go to Monique in Precious. She too has a winning record in the early contests, and she was terrific, playing an abusive mother. This year, 10 films have been nominated for Best Picture, but the race comes down to The Hurt Locker versus Avatar. Avatar's 3D cinematography and performance capture animation are spectacular. Plus, the film has taken in over $2 billion and has become the top box office draw in history. On the other hand, The Hurt Locker, a serious drama about a bomb squad defusing IEDs in Iraq, is an anti-war masterpiece that relatively few people have seen. Avatar will probably win because, as everybody knows, money really talks in Hollywood. But I'm pulling for The Hurt Locker, which is now available on DVD. Terry Hunter. Hawaii News Now.